Good morning. Hey guys. We are at Bush Gardens. This is my first time. I've been before, but it's I haven't been since I was a little kid, so technically it's my first time. So thank you to Bush Gardens for inviting us out. We're yes, here to you. experience their Mardi Gras celebration. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try some food yep. and uh, experience the entertainment here uh, associated with their Mardi Gras celebration. So thank you so much. We're excited. We're gonna ride some rides as well. Yeah, it's a little before after 9:30, so we're here before park opens at 10. It's it's kind of, there's people here. Yeah, it's uh, I think it's the nice weather too. Yeah, it's not gonna be too hot today. Um, but let's go have some fun and explore Bush Gardens. So we just finished three coasters. Yeah. We, go ahead. No, yeah. Go oh, ahead. we started with, uh, what's it called? Iron Gwazi. Yeah, Iron Gwazi, which is crazy. That was good. That's definitely not for the faint of heart. It's very much comparable to um, Velocicoaster, Coaster, yeah. but slightly, I like Velocicoaster a little more, but they're both very good. Yeah, very good for coaster fans. Definitely recommend it and then we did right behind us actually is cheetah yeah. hunt mm -hmm. which i liked yeah it was pretty smooth it's, yeah it's not as intense as um iron Gwazi, but it's definitely fun and then tj went on one and i sat that one out yeah i did montu and you would think for that being one of the older ones it would be rough but it was actually really smooth and pretty fast that's kind of why i stayed away because i don't like it when it gets too shaky mm -hmm. but uh so now we're gonna step into um, it's it's like safari or a, it's a Serengeti, Serengeti overlook. Yes. And there's um, the giraffe bar in here, and then there's a quick service pizza place. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna grab a quick bite to eat before we go into the Mardi Gras festivities. So let's check this place out. All right, so we're sitting in the giraffe bar area. TJ got some food at the quick service. Yeah. He pours ranch on his pizza. <laughs> it's, it's very mad. <laughs> uh, fries, and then I got a Serengeti Sunset frozen cocktail. It has rum in it, and then this is the giraffe pretzel. There's other pretzels on property that look a little bit more impressive that I kind of want to try, so I might get another pretzel. I thought that this pretzel might look a little bit more, but people have said good things about pretzels elsewhere at Bush Garden, so I'll have to find find where they are. All right, so we picked up our Mardi Gras food and beverage sampler. So this is five uh, items for $40. Sorry, I was coming your face. $5, uh, five items for $40, so roughly like eight, eight, um, $8 per item, um, which uh, turns to be a good deal. You can also get a 10 sampler, or if you're an annual pass holder, you can get a 12 sampler, okay? And so this saves you a little, a little bit of money because the items we've been seeing are kind of like in the $9 to $10 range for their food and beverage items for um, Mardi Gras. So good deal, pick one of these up. What we want to find out is if you can if you don't use it all in one day like the five one it's not hard to but if you get the ten one is it good the whole celebration or is it good for just the day that you're here right there's if you've nothing, done it before let us know in the comments there's nothing on it that says that you can't come back and use it later on for mardi gras so anyway thank you uh for uh, bush gardens for hooking us up with one of these mm -hmm. let's go check out mardi gras yeah <laughs> So here's the whole map for Mardi Gras. It's pretty condensed, which is nice so you don't have to walk around a ton. There's only nine booths, so let's go. All right, 
right, our first two items are the gumbo and the bundt cake, and they serve the bundt cake with a soft serve, and it's melting. It's a humid day today. But yeah, these are our first two food options here at Mardi Gras. Go for it. Okay. All right, we have the gumbo. Let's try to get a well-balanced bite. Oh, there's chicken, and there's, an, I believe, andouille sausage here. What spice level would you give it? A mild to medium. Okay. It has a nice flavor. It's a solid choice. And it's a good portion. Yeah, that looks like a... I kind of wish I had rice. A hefty know. portion. Yeah. Normally, yeah. When Normally when you think gumbo, you think rice with it, but... It would have been nice to have a little rice with it. Okay, let's try the... Bunt cake. This might be a little bit more difficult to grab a bite of because, oh no, I wasn't sure how the, getting a spoon in here would go. Mm. It's like a vanilla bunk cake with vanilla ice cream. It has a nice vanilla flavor. Um, I wouldn't say it's like anything amazing or wowing, but it's a good, <laughs> it's a nice option. And okay. I like the ice cream on top of the bun cake. Yeah, that, the ice cream makes, mm. sure gives it a good touch. Yeah, it's nice. So we got the andouille sausage po' boy. TJ's gonna try it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yes. Mm. It's good? Yeah. The sausage is, it's not spicy by any means. The sauce on it is somewhat sweet. Overall, it's it's good. Nice. All right, so we got a hurricane. Yes, you can get alcoholic beverages with this uh, pass. Um, it's what probably like four ounces, mm -hmm. five ounces maybe. Um, and they filled it really high. I already took a little sip because it was so <laughs> full. But it's a nice hurricane. Hey, a little tart. Uh, it's pretty mixed, but it's a nice hurricane. <laughs>
Okay, so we can't come to a Mardi Gras celebration without getting beignets. So let's try Bush Gardens version. These are still hot. Good. Very hot. I like these. Definitely trying to get them hot. They're crispy on the outside, but nice and gooey on the inside. Maybe a little bit more uh, powdered sugar might be needed, but very good. So we are in the Springs Tap Room, which has recently been renovated here at Bush Gardens. You can tell it's kind of an older building, mid-century vibes, and they did a nice job renovating it. I don't know what it looked like before, but it's pretty nice. It's kind of in the festival center where Mardi Gras is. In fact, one of the Mardi Gras booths is here inside the Springs Tap Room. I just got an Aperol Spritz because it's kind of hot and humid outside, so I got one. Uh, let's try it. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of a nice chill spot in the air conditioning to get away from the heat if you're here on a hot day. <laughs> All right, so that's going to do it for our day here at Bush Gardens, Tampa, Florida. Yeah, it was a really nice day. We've only scratched the surface on what there is to do here. Yeah, yeah this like, is a, this, not even 25 percent. This is a vote. very huge park with a lot to do, and it's definitely family oriented. I'll say that for sure. There's the roller coasters, but then there's kid stuff. They have the Sesame Street area, uh, so it, and it's huge. We we didn't even walk through. It. There's a whole train ride that goes to the safari that we didn't do. Mm -hmm. So we definitely have stuff to do when we come back next. That's for sure. And then overall, I would say the Mardi Gras event it's not big but it is fun there's yeah. nine total booths so plenty of food plenty of drinks that's fun they have a parade and then at the end of the parade they throw beads out and I caught some and I didn't even have to show any cleavage so that's awesome yeah, that's great <laughs> great news yeah but we're looking forward to coming back and enjoying a more of what Bush Gardens Tampa has to offer yeah until next time bye guys